there, I'm Kelsey, and thank you for watching our GCP Mindset channel. Today, we'll talk about two very important careers in clinical trials, called the Principal Investigator and the Sub-Investigator, PI and SI for short. More after the intro. Washington University defines a Principal Investigator as charged to conduct objective research that generates independent, high quality, and reproducible results. The principal investigator is responsible for the management and integrity of the design, conduct, and reporting of the research project, and for managing, monitoring, and ensuring the integrity of all collaborative relationships. Additionally, the principal investigator is responsible for the direction and oversight of compliance, financial, personnel, and other related aspects of the research project, and for coordination with school, department, and central administration personnel. In order to assure research is conducted in accordance with federal regulations and, if applicable, university and sponsoring agency policies and procedures. In short, the PI must make sure the site staff sticks to the study protocol and rules, delegates responsibilities appropriately, ensures patients receive adequate care, protect patients' rights, data, and safety, and report any negative findings if discovered throughout the study contact to proper authorities. The sub-investigator assists the principal investigator in these tasks. Of course, in order to be a PI, you should have had experience as an SI beforehand. Please also visit the links below for a more detailed list of responsibilities from around the globe. In order to qualify to be an investigator, it is important to keep three experiences in mind, technical, practical, and theoretical. It is important to research what authorities and committees require specifically for their region. It also depends on if the study is being conducted at a university, hospital, or private institution. Technical degrees are required, but just because you have a higher degree doesn't mean you're qualified to be a PI or an SI. Review boards look for not just knowledge, but skills and experience in the area of study. This leads to practical experience. For example, since 1983, doctors of pharmacy in the U.S. are permitted by the FDA to be PIs of investigational drug studies within their area of expertise. In the case of a medical device for joint replacement, a certified and experienced orthopedic surgeon would be required. Some universities permit professors, associate professors, or assistant professors, MDs, and PhDs of scientific fields, and PharmD or master's prepared clinicians to serve as PIs and SIs. This is, of course, if they have what is deemed appropriate in skills and experience. So the general answer is that it depends. Theoretical certification, like basic ICHGCP courses, are mandatory in the U.S. and EU, along with most other developed countries. These qualifications vary from country to country. For example, a German investigator must have a GCP advanced training, in addition to the basic GCP training. Another interesting fact is that the head sub-investigator is called the deputy in Germany. I hope you enjoyed the brief introduction to two very important careers in clinical trials, the principal investigator and the sub-investigator. Remember, it's all about mindset, GCP mindset. Hey there, don't forget, like and subscribe, but most importantly, click that bell so you never miss another video.